Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Vegans Love Life. My name is Michelle. I just got back from Trader Joe's, which I've been promising to go there for you guys for, I think since October, and I literally have not gone. So I'm going to give you an idea of what I will buy when I go there today. I'm actually gonna get right into it, honestly, because it's a lot, I bought a lot today. I haven't been there in a while, so. All right, let's get right into that. Let's start with some of my bre breakfast and lunch and snack plans for the week. So I did get some Ezekiel bread, which I do find pretty um, affordable at Trader Joe's compared to other places. And I just grabbed that for toast or whatever, whatever sandwiches we make. Um, I do like to grab this Tuscan pain. It's a vegan bread similar to sourdough i feel like uh, i get that all the time when i go there it's a very affordable price again i mean really everything there to me is a lot more affordable than other places especially since i go to whole foods a lot then i grab this vegan cream cheese alternative some people think this is not that great to me it's like one of my absolute favorite cream cheeses that's vegan out there and the price point i mean you really can't beat it i think it's like less than 2.99 it's it's great and it lasts a while i did grab a this um almond milk i always get that when i go there again price point you can't beat it at trader joe's for almond milk that is probably going to be used for oats, smoothies, the cream cheese I can use on these breads here for some toast. I grabbed some peanut butter, which is always great to have on hand for breakfast items or just a snack. This applesauce, this unsweetened applesauce, I'm going to be using that to make my vanilla chia seed pancakes. Um, or I might make my apple pancakes i have two different kinds of pancakes on my blog they're both really good my son loves both of them but i'm gonna do some meal prep for that tomorrow and another thing that goes with that is the this organic raw apple cider vinegar i'm gonna use that to make that recipe and i grabbed this maple agave syrup blend to go on top of it because it's just cheaper than buying pure maple syrup and my son doesn't really see any difference so i'll use that for him i grabbed these raw walnut pieces um they're organic i think pretty much mostly everything i got was organic that i could get my hands on so i got those in mind for some banana bread Overnight oats, I might use rolled oats, I might use steel cut oats, I'm not sure yet. It's not anything I've ever made actually, so I'm gonna just play around with that. And then I also got coffee for me because I'm out and you always need to have coffee on hand. I grabbed this, Barbella, Barbella's? Is it Barbell? Barbell? Barbells? I don't know how to say that. I've gotten it before. It's just kind of like a treat, honestly. It's um, a plant-based protein bar. It's good. It's hazelnut. It's my favorite thing. So sometimes I grab those when I go there. I think they have another flavor, like a peanut butter, peanut butter one that I've tried before. They're both good. And I also grabbed these in mind just for a snack um, when I make my uh chocolate sunflower spread which i'm probably going to use a lot this week again for my son's school sandwiches because he absolutely loves that it's just a cheap way to give him some sort of sandwich for his lunch i will be putting all of the recipes i do mention in a little picture up here and also add them in the description so you can check those out to see what i'm using all this food for I also grabbed these granola bites for his lunch. It's um, one of the few vegan snacks that they really have at Trader Joe's, which isn't a bad thing because you can just, you know, send them with healthier foods like carrots. These are also for his lunch. He will eat these up for sure. He loves carrots. I love carrots. So those will be used this week. Then let's go over into the fruits that are pretty much gonna be mostly for him because he eats his fruits pretty fast. I grabbed this 
um, thing, actually he grabbed this, these strawberries here. So those he'll eat, some raspberries. I'll probably get some of these, hopefully. They look really good. And also some blueberries because those he'll eat in his lunch at school. He's very picky about like what he takes to school. So <laughs> blueberries, carrots, some granola bites, and probably a sandwich with sun butter is gonna be the, the lunch of the week. And, oh, and I forgot to mention the, take these with him as another little snack at school these are one of the few things he really likes for snacks at Trader Joe's these organic corn chip dippers but he doesn't really dip them in anything I mean he is like kind of trying new things lately so who knows he did try salsa recently he didn't hate it so <laughs> we'll see how that goes um then on the breakfast side of things i grabbed this tofu i'm going to break, make my uh tofu scramble which i make pretty much all the time he loves it and i will put this baby spinach in that and he will eat it up which is great i also grabbed this unsweetened almond milk to keep that in mind because i do use that for my tofu scramble recipe just to keep it on the low fat side instead of using oil or avocado like some recipes call for and for fruits I also grabbed this lemon just to slice up and put in some water and now let's get into the dinner side of things so this is one meal that is just like fail proof I mean I'll make this pretty much weekly this organic jasmine rice this these um, chickenless mandarin orange morsels are delicious and I'll make it with these organic peas and I'll also send these peas to his school with him for his lunches but yeah this is just a quick easy dinner that you can make and it's just very inexpensive and just like I said super quick to make during the week and then here's another few ideas for dinners this week. I am planning on making some pasta. Um, I grabbed this yellow lentil and brown rice pasta. My son is like, eh, he kind of likes it. Kind of isn't too sure. So I also grabbed this um, pasta for him. So in case he doesn't want to eat that, I can swap it out for that one. And my ideas for this week is really just simple, like spaghetti, pasta with some of this um, tomato basil marinara. It's vegan, it's low fat. I'll throw that on there and also add some hummus, just this plain organic hummus. And I'm kind of hoping to make a salad with it too. So I got these power greens here. And I also got some chopped romaine lettuce because I just don't want to fool around with um, preparing lettuce, like having to wash it. So this is already prepared and ready to go. And I got my favorite dressing, which is this vegan Caesar dressing. Now my son has been recently trying lettuce, which he never did before. So I'm hoping we'll get him to try this salad as well. And to go along with that, idea of the pasta dish. I also am thinking of making this eggplant. Um, I got this idea from somebody at work who brought in some eggplant. I kind of want to prepare it in advance, maybe freeze it. I'm probably going to use this flour here to bread it and then some um, breadcrumbs, which I already have. But uh, Trader Joe's does have breadcrumbs. If you are looking to buy some, they have some. And yeah i think i'm gonna do that make that and freeze it and maybe use it with like on top of the pasta dish i don't know we'll see we'll see what i do and then another idea i kind of stole from that same person is a little bit different they made green beans with some garlic oil and i actually want to try doing that with some zucchini i've been actually wanting to do that for a while so i'm going to try to put some of this garlic oil on those after I slice them and add where did I put it this vegan shredded parmesan cheese from Trader Joe's I actually do really like this um in terms of their cheeses this is one of the only ones that actually tastes pretty good so if you do go there grab this and I think this is gonna be kind of yummy we'll see
And let's see, another dinner plan using this lettuce will probably be taco night. So that's gonna be pretty easy. We'll be using some of these organic pinto beans, a lime, some lime juice, some flavor, these taco shells. And I grabbed some organic thick and chunky salsa that I'm gonna use. And yeah, that's kind of it. Like that's going to be kind of just a super simple dinner. And then my son grabbed his usual pizza dough. Um, he loves, we have another thing of hummus here. That's literally going to just go on top of this pizza dough with some nutritional yeast and he will eat that up. I do have a few things in the freezer that I don't want to really take out. They need, they need to be more frozen, so. Uh, the car ride did not do it well. We have organic raspberries. I grabbed those and I also grabbed these organic wild blueberries. I like to have frozen fruits on hand always. So I also grabbed some organic strawberries. That's really it. So with that, I actually want to show you some of the new products I found at Trader Joe's today because I wasn't really expecting to see anything, anything new but I was kind of excited and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with some of it. But yeah, let me just give you a little sneak peek. Now, the first two things are not technically new, um, but they're newer. And if you haven't actually tried them, I just want to give you my little review on them. The first one is this Spanish style rice. Um, this is my absolute favorite <laughs> rice out there at the moment for vegan rices that are just prepared and ready to go. It's very tasty. It's got a lot of flavor. The only downside is it does have quite a bit of sodium, um, 700 milligrams. But that being said, it does offer a very quick meal um you literally can just pop this in the microwave for five minutes and it's done and it's delicious i mean you can add i've added onions and peppers to it before you can add whatever you want there's one thing that i have had with it which is my next um new product that's not really all that new but it could be new if you haven't been to trader joe's in a while is this korean beefless Bulgo, I'm gonna butcher this, bulgogi, I don't know how to say that, I feel terrible, I should probably look that up so I know how to say it, but these are delicious, and even though it's Korean, I like to pair it with this Spanish rice. I'm not sure what everybody else does with it, I mean you can do so many things with it, you could just have a side of vegetables with it, that jasmine rice that I bought could have that with it um yeah there's endless amount of options but this stuff is delicious it's like got that like fatty texture that like maybe a steak would have you know some beef would have so if you really do like that stuff you might actually be a fan of this if not you probably won't the last thing that's new to me but not so new is this squash now, obviously I've had squash before. Um, I don't even know if this is, if there's like a particular name for this squash. <laughs> I've never seen it there or maybe I've just walked by it. I just thought it was so cute. <laughs> it did say it was like a delicious creamy texture. So I'm thinking maybe adding some of this to spaghetti when I make spaghetti, like just like puree it. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but to me, it just looks so cute and pretty. <laughs> I really wanted to try it, so there's that. Now, the three items that I do have that are absolutely brand new to the store and I've never tried are, first, this white miso paste. Now, miso, I don't think I've even ever had miso except maybe already in something. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, but hey, it's new and I'll try it. If you guys have any ideas, please um, comment below because I don't have any clue what I'm gonna do with that. Then I grabbed this uh, new seasoning, 
which I'm very excited about. It's a pizza sprinkle seasoning blend. And I mean, it literally just has tomato powder, garlic, paprika, coriander, black pepper, dried parsley, dried basil, and dried oregano. So it sounds perfect for pizza. So I'm gonna use that for something. I don't know what, I might not even use it this week, but it, it's just so, sounds like absolutely perfect. Um, I will mention they did have a, I don't know what it was called. It was right next to this and it was new product as well. It was a ketchup flavored seasoning. Now that one, I'm not sure if it's vegan because it does have sugar in it. The sugar is not specified to be vegan. I don't know if you know this, but some sugars are not vegan. They're processed with bone char. And so if it just says sugar on it, I usually don't get it unless it says that it's vegan. So there's that. I will try that out for you someday. The last item, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, but here it is. This Riced Hearts of Palm. Now, Trader Joe's already does have a Hearts of Palm pasta that they sell. And it was actually sold out. It was right next, you could see the label. It was right next to this. Um, but I don't really like that one. Now, I only gave it a shot once and I tried to make soup with it and that did not. It just, the texture was all wrong for that. So it's possible that I might like it. So I might try it again, but rice is, I love rice. That's why that, that Spanish rice is, it makes me so happy that they have that because there doesn't seem to be a lot of rice options out there that are just pre-made. I do have my own rices that I make, but yeah, so I'm kind of excited to try this because it looks good in the picture. Um, literally, the only ingredient is hearts of palm and it's rice. So I'm excited to try this. When I do, I will give you some feedback, but that's it for today. I hope you enjoy this haul. Like I said, it's going to have a lot of vegan, it's going to have a lot of vegan recipes I, recipe ideas for kids and I kind of hope to keep doing that going forward just to give you an idea of what kids eat as vegans because that's definitely a topic of discussion a lot so anyway give this video a thumbs up if you like it hit the subscribe button I am trying to reach a goal of a hundred subscribers by the end of hmm I was thinking February but we'll see I'm not even at 10 yet, but I'm excited to keep trying. So I hope you like this video. Hit the like button. See you again next time. 